So let's see here. Uh, making money trading stocks and ETFs um, for Friday. This is the, uh, oh gosh, last Friday in February 2018. Good morning, everybody. And uh, when our mind with all materials we present are for training purposes, only traders should always pay per trade any new method prior to the risk of their own personal capital. Past performance is not an indication or promise of future performance. So, uh, cool, really interesting on what's going on in the uh, uh, in the markets today. Uh, we're kind of like bouncing around. We are in a range, and um, a range of indecision is what I'll call it, uh, where we are going to break one way or the other, um, and uh, we'll see what you know where things go from there. Just uh, as a highlight, I will be in uh, San Jose. Next, Saturday of next week, the 3rd of March, we're going to have a regular um, BAM, Bay Area Moneymaker meeting at the Masonic. So if you're in the Bay Area, please stop in uh, 9 o'clock in the morning Saturday. And then after that meeting, my wife and I will be heading on out to Boise, Idaho to see our son and our, grand, and our daughter-in-law and our grandchildren. And if my oldest son watches this, I want to say congratulations to Dennis Jr. Uh, he and his wife, Bomi, are um, in the process of having a child um, over in South Korea. And uh, it's uh, they just found out that it's going to be a little boy because the doctor said he could see the pepper. Apparently that's whatever the, 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 the Korean word for pepper indicates that it's a boy. So we're happy about that. So, hey, remember your job as a trader is to wait for the pre best opportunities money is made, stocking and sitting on, sitting, not being actively enforcing new trades every day and or every week. So we sit there and we watch around. Uh, we highlight and we indicate that active trend trading is about the five pillars of active trend trading. And basically what we do is we... Uh, we identify what to trade. In this case, this was Baba a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, just prior to the uh, um, earnings run. We, we identify where to enter, which we identified this based on our system, a uh, tick up on the TSI, and we entered here at 184.65. This was a shorter term trade, trade, and when to exit. We identified a couple of places to exit. One is what banged its head into past resistance here in this in this little uh, zone uh, bounce zone uh, it blew on through that and continued on and we just did an extension up here and got out at 199 so all in all good trade we also identify what strategy to use in this case we were buying stock and what to accept uh, what to expect and our system basically generates a probability of success about 65 percent throughout the year and throughout the times we have been utilizing the active trend trading system so we're very pleased with that uh, the objective of today's meeting is just basically identify some actionable intel uh, review at the end of the week we will have a session on Monday called aftermarket Monday now, next Friday, I will be in the airplane heading to San Jose, and so we will not have a, 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 a making money trading stocks in ETFs webinar, but then we'll get started the week after that again. I'll be broadcasting from Boise, Idaho. Anybody know anything about Boise except it's cold this time of year? Okay, so we'll do a quick market review. Uh, where we can be aware of Mark Murphy's laws of trading and a couple of stocks we want to take a look at. And so here's where we're sitting as of the uh, uh, this time in the, in the month. Uh, last Friday and th uh, Thursday and Saturday, we were at a uh, training session. My wife and I, my wife is actually going to start trading uh, trading some uh, futures. And so she's really excited about that. And she'll be progressing on. We'll keep you guys abreast of what we're finding out when she's trading and learning how to trade futures. Excuse me.
So let's take a look at some charts on what the indexes are telling us. Let's go here. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the S&P. The S&P, of course, fell out of the sky a couple of weeks ago. Uh, last part of uh, January came down, hit off this night, very good bounce zone off the 200-day moving average and recoiled. And I find it quite interesting is that, you know, people who, uh, you know, think that these Fibonacci's don't work, well, I, you know, I hate to say it, but they work pretty darn good. We get a 618 retracement, you know, a little bit over, it blew out a little bit. And then basically we have now pulled back into the 50% retracement and we're kind of going sideways. Well, what can we take away from that? How can we, well, what I deem this area here is basically an area of what they call indecision. We get a bunch of small bodied candles, or another word known as spinning tops and or dojis. And that's an indication that the market is in a, in a, in, in a position to be indecisive. Uh, so where, you know, where might it go? It could actually just break down from this 2696 level or break up from this 25, uh, 2756 level and go on up and retest up these highs. It was you know, about the place we would anticipate a uh, rollover if the market is going to continue weakening. Um, this is a, the, a rally attempt to push up back into the old highs. Uh, would like to see this kind of pattern, but translated over here to the weekly chart where we get a nice pullback, a nice push up. Maybe it even makes it, you know, just past this and then drops uh, into place there, back in down into this uh, bounce zone that we have identified down here. Uh, keep an eye on the TSIs. TSI, we had hit the zero line. When we hit the uh, 618 ret uh, retracement, that tends to be a level of uh, resistance, and it turned down from that. Um, we have a conflict here, long-term monthly chart on the, uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm fighting a bit of a cold, guys, so bear with me, please. Um, keep an eye on this monthly chart. Okay, for the month, it's got a couple more days to go, and we have turned over. Uh, will this be uh, an indication of <clears throat> things to come in that this is going to be a go back into a correction that goes down, you know, let's say 15 to 20 plus percent or even make it into the bear category, uh, bear market category. You know, we'll see. Uh, but as you're watching your um, look at your index, look at the monthly charts and uh, we're seeing some some, you know, some weakness like we haven't seen before. So it still has some some room down to the, the you know, back down to the downside. In case it wants to, I mean, it's got a target down here at 2,400 or even down here at 2,200 where it could go to. Now let's roll over to NASDAQ. Okay, NASDAQ continues. Uh, real nice push up on NASDAQ. We'll throw on the FIB on that to see. Um, throw on the FIB on this to see what kind of retracement we're getting. As you can see with the FIB here. We have retraced almost up to the right there to the 786 uh, uh, retracement. NASDAQ a little bit stronger than the other, but uh, it is basically challenging this level of resistance and again, driving sideways in a tight pattern congestion pattern or basing pattern, which way is it going to go from here? Well, it's only got three options. It can, can continue to base for uh, quite some time or break out up to the top, go up here and challenge the, old, the past highs or break out the bottom and say, you know what, it's time for it to go into more of a correction. We shall see what the, what transpires with that. Um, Russell, similar type situation. We'll just throw the fib on there really quickly. And as you can see, the Russell's a little bit more like the uh, uh, the, the uh, S&P in that it did retrace up to the 618, and it's just bouncing around there. 
And so bouncing between the 50 and the just above the 618. And look, it's gone one, two, three, four, five days, six days in this little channel here. And so uh, we'll anticipate that to kind of stay there until it does its breakout, either breakout to the upside or breakout to the downside. Excuse me. So what else are we looking at? Um, Okay, on a weekly chart, it does look like, you know, prices are coming off the zero line, so it might get a little bit of a bounce on the longer term. Um, get rid of that. On the longer term monthlies, what are we looking at? Now, basically, go to the bottom of that, that large candle that we have for the month. That is a strong level of what? Support. Demand, it's where buyers came back in. So I would anticipate buyers coming in between the 1454 level and down here at the 1434 ah, level. So about that $10 span right there. And uh, But TSI turning over from an extended level. So again, uh, what has happened in the past when that has happened? Normally this goes into a little bit more of a healthier uh, uh, pullback. We're just, it's just, you know, kind of just starting the move. I mean, we had a, <clears throat> a tick down move last month uh, with a upper high upper wick. And then we kind of basically did get a nice healthy sell off, but it recovered. So what's it going to do going into March? We shall see. Okay, let's see here. Let me look at the questions. <clears throat> And so, yeah, Eric, that would be considered a hanging man for the month, a big, a big hanging, hanging man um, uh, with the range all the way from the top to the bottom uh, as as basically one big level of both support and, and resistance. Let's see, Bob says in a stall at what as what happens when a pilot ascends beyond the capacity of the capability of the the. Uh, Aircraft, yeah, we get a stall and it kind of just pushes higher and then all of a sudden just rolls over. And sometimes that rollover can be quite catastrophic. Uh, would the turnover in the monthly TSI suggest the uh, Russell will break to the downside? Well, let's take a real quick look at that, <clears throat> Eric, because that's a great question. Let's go. Let's go here. Maximize that that cell. You go out here. What has happened? What has happened in the past? Well, you got your TSI tick up, tick over, you know, roll over here. I, I, I think what, you know, rather than just focus on the TSI tick up or tick down in this case, uh, where price action just kind of like moves sideways, we want to look for these divergences. In other words, we pushed up to a uh, pushed down. We came up, made a new high, but on a negative divergence on the uh, TSI. That in itself was a better clue for uh, moving to the downside. Similar over here, we get a little bit of, of, of you know negative divergence here as it kind of tries to pull up into the the uh, past highs, and then we get into a sell off and we uh, we dramatically drop. So uh, what I would categorize you know the the just that initial turnover and cross on the TSI. I would categorize it as it's a clue that the, there's weak, you know, significant weakness in the market, but we're going to be having to wait till we get other clues until we can basically say, okay, yeah, this is now going into a bearish market. Now, um, on a on a monthly basis, as soon as it rips and get a, gets a lower close, uh, like in the bottom section of these candles here. Uh, that will also be an indication that ah, something's happening. Um, but as you can see, TSI on the monthly charts have not even, have not dropped the, you know out of 50. Uh, so for this, uh, these longer term, and this is really something to take a look at for the longer term, like monthly charts. We covered this on Wednesday night on the premium members uh, uh, time frame. Is be aware of when we get these 
TSI readings down in around the negative 50 to you know negative 30 level. Those tend to be times when the market reverses back up and and goes on to uh, 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 for some of its bigger gains. So those are at, you know really great times to be in the market. So uh, I'll cover one other thing. And that it that would be uh, <clears throat> excuse me JNUG I like JNUG right now okay what is JNUG doing well, JNUG is basically just kind of hanging out here TSI is ticked up it's got some support right here at the thirteen dollar level strong support it's at thirteen sixty right now. Um, I don't know if I'd want to jump on a trade right this moment, um, but uh, I'm going to be looking at and, and probably try and time it off of the uh, to the long side, uh, time it off the intraday one hour chart. So for uh, members, I, I just you know that's what I'm looking at. This could because this could run bounce all the way from here, even if it just goes up to the upper part of the uh, Keltner channels. You're looking at about a 26% run. Excuse me. And a sneeze. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, I, I like this. So if you are a non-premium member, um, you know you you will get an email an email alert saying, uh, "Hey, we're planning a trade on this." Of course, premium members will get the text message of exactly when we're tra uh, uh, planning the trade. Let's see what else we got going on here. Gold, we talked about that a little bit. What am I looking at in gold? Well, one, uh, pull back into the middle of March time frame, and we'll see if that gold is showing some weakness, and then a potential reversal there, a move sideways. Gold, we want to be really, you know, looking strong at gold in June, July time frame, where it typically goes on to seasonal run. We are moving out of the April... February time frame into March. As you can see, some of these entities, like the Russells, they tend to get a bid in March. And we'll see if we get a setup to do that. Here's where we're sitting with the active trend trading system. And, um, okay. Oh, poo. I didn't get that reaper, uh, erased. I'm sitting there waiting for uh, trades on Baba, Tesla, and Spiders uh, for this, you know, to go into next week. Uh, we just order, entered an order on Baba, but uh, basically I've been doing some testing uh, to see if I can get a little bit tighter characteristics for um, for the uh, Baba, Tesla, and Spider Strategy 3 trades. And then Strategy 2, of course, I'm doing the YY earnings trade, and uh, the premium members are following that. So we'll be watching to see what goes on. So here's where we're sitting with strategy three, and that kind of does it for today. Um, remember, 2018, I believe, is a year of breakthrough for many of our members and restoration. So until not next Friday, but Friday after this, uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll be up for the premium members' final hour uh, at the top of the hour in another uh, 45 minutes or so. So with that, good day, everybody. Have a great weekend. God bless and aloha.